Next up, we have oral presentation 17, Stanford, Connecticut, Team 3, Mission 12 Flight Experiment. Hello, everybody. We are from Stanford, Connecticut, and I'm Ryan Hoke. I'm Lalith Goli, and I'm Adar Sushant. And our project uh, will be studying the effects of crossbreeding of Sardaria femicola in microgravity. And our idea originated from the desire to study reproduction on the simplest way possible, which we found we could do with uh, Sardaria femicola. And here's Lalith. Hello. So our experiment is analyzing the rates of crossing over, which is a process conducted in reproduction. In order to observe this, we'll be breeding together two different strands of the fungus Sordaria femicola. The two colors will be wild and tan. We'll also be able to observe the rates of mutations that occur under the effect of a microgravity environment. Um, the offspring produced during the experiment will be visible to us, um, will be visible to us underneath the microscope. I'll also talk about the experimental design. To inhibit the fungus from reproducing, to inhibit the fungus from reproducing during transportation to space, uh, we loaded it in the dehydrated state. But while in space, a rehydrating agent will be, uh, uh, will be released, allowing the Stordaria to become active and be able to reproduce. Uh, to make sure that reproduction doesn't occur on its way back into Earth's atmosphere, a killing agent will be released, uh, but being, uh, so that would preserve our results. We chose sodium chloride as a killing agent specifically in order to make sure that our results are preserved and to make sure that no more reproduction occurs. Once we get the two back from, from uh, the International Space Station, we'll scrape off the offspring and place it underneath a microscope. Uh, this will, uh, we'll uh, place it underneath a microscope to uh, begin our analysis. The visuals on the right represent what we'll see underneath the microscope, which will make it more feasible for us to actually conduct our experiment and view the different patterns. Adarsh will be talking about the experimental process. Hi. Um, on the diagram on the top, we have, we have an illustration which shows how we loaded the three volumes into our type three FME mini lab. In our second diagram, we have a table which um, sh lists all of our allowed crew interaction days. Um, in volume one of our, of our experiment, we have, a solid, we have a slanted piece of solid agar which will allow for increased contact area between the sordaria and the agar. This will allow the fungus to thrive by providing with nutrients once rehydrated. In our second volume, we have our rehydrating solution, which will be, which will be unclamped on the first uh, allowed day of crew interaction, and then the astronauts will then shake the experiment in order to make sure that the two strands of sordaria are mixed properly. In our third volume, we have our sodium chloride solution, which will act as our killing agent, um, and it will be released two days before it leaves the ISS. Now I'd like to talk to you about the reproductive cycles. In our experiment, our Sardaria will undergo the process of meiosis, which is, all, which is the process of creating gametes, which are sex cells. Crossing over is a process that occurs in meiosis that involves the switching of genes between two homologous chromosomes. During prophase one of meiosis, um, crossing over will sometimes occur, and a part of each chromosome will break off and switch places with the other. Dur during prophase one of Oh, sorry. We believe that these part, these parts of, the, we believe that these parts of the chromosome will be less less successful in, in the transportation process due to the fact that this process has been evolving in Earth for millions of years under the influence of gravity. Without this gene shuffling, there will be fewer ways in which a gene can be made, decreasing gen genetic variation. Now Ryan will talk about the process for breeding. So here are the results of breeding and what it will look like. The picture on the left displays the life cycle of Sardaria femicola, which in the end you can see there will be an oval shape. This is a sac known as the perithecium. It will have the offspring known as ASCII, and in each ASCII there are eight ascospores. It is based off the color pattern, patterns of these ascospores that will be able to determine if crossing over was successful or not. As seen on the picture of, on the right, um, patterns like 2222 two, 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 or 242 two, uh, demonstrate that crossing over was successful, while patterns like 4 4 demonstrate that crossing over did not occur. We can also determine, based off the ASCO spores, if uh, mutations occurred. Uh, this would be odd patterns like 3 5 or 2 6, or if there are less than 8 ASCO spores in an ASCII. We'll then use this data to formulate our rates of success. Then, here are some objectives from our experiment. With collecting rates of crossing over as well as mutations, we'll be able to better understand how microgravity affects meiosis and the reproductive cycle. If the mutation rate uh, 
in conditions found aboard the ISS is higher than on Earth. Uh, <laughs> it could indicate problems for growth and healing, both of which require genetically identical clones. Genetic variation is also key to adaptability, and without it, any sudden environmental change can be devastating to a species. In addition, this experiment will further our knowledge on gravitropism, which is the study of how gravity affects fungus. We also know from the twin study with Mark and Scott Kelly that one of their telomeres lengthen while uh, spending time in space, which telomeres are a part of the chromosome. And if we know uh, one part of the chromosome is being affected while in space, it leaves the door open that other parts, like crossing over, could also be affected while in microgravity. If humans are ever to be a multi-planetary species, we must know more about meiosis, the reproductive cycle, and genetic variation. Thank you. We would like to give a huge thanks to all of our sponsors and our teacher facilitator, Ms. Sue Doherty. Thank you for letting us center one of our creations to the International Space Station. Thank you again. Thank you.